Hi, it's me again, Elena Corchero, and guess what? It's the last Thursday of the month, so that's when I get to tell you all about the news and the trends for technology and science. noticed that it's a little bit darker than usual that is because this week I have been crazy busy but I still want to make you aware of everything that is going on so let's get started having been at MIT Media Lab myself I highly admire any initiative they launch and director Yoi Ito has done something very very brave the disobedience award it is to reward the work of those who might not follow the traditional research paths but that are always keeping the benefit of society in mind. And talking about freedom to innovate, what if we could drive a car just by having positive thoughts? This is what company Hyundai has been experimenting together with innovative London studio Alphabet Collective. Let's talk a little bit more about self-driving cars. A very interesting spin-off from Oxford University, Oxbotica, has developed a system, Selenium, which allows any car to become a driverless car. It collects data from video cameras, laser scanners, and other radar systems that anyone can install in their car. Now an interesting dilemma about the Internet of Things. What comes first? the network that the sensors have to use to communicate or the objects that are gonna be broadcasting all this data. Well, one cannot live without the other and cities are starting to prepare all of this infrastructure. Netherlands confirming that they have finalize a complete network for the Internet of Things. We have France with Sigfox and we have also Germany, South Korea and many other countries joining. These are just like traditional wireless networks but with far lower cost and far lower energy requirements. Over time all of these networks will be able to recover the investment through or monthly subscriptions. At the moment it's monthly used for the city infrastructure, weather readers, counting cows, <laughs> you name it. But there is so much more that we could be doing with this. So now that the networks are ready, what are you waiting for? Think about the impact of, for example, Verizon buying Yahoo Web Services mm -hmm. and also Japanese SoftBank purchasing the British Arm. This has a lot, a lot to do with the Internet of Things, you just have to wait and see. I'm sure many of you have already had the opportunity to enjoy a fully immersive virtual reality experience. Oculus is right now starting to focus on haptics and these are devices that give us physical feedback in our body about whatever experience we might be having and from virtual reality allowing us to feel more what about virtual reality allowing us to feel less a company called applied vr is collecting content that is proven to diminish pain distracting your brain from a section of your body while that section is being operated yeah groundbreaking but it turns out that it works is the power of distraction just like a magician will be doing something over here while you're looking over there, it turns out that our brain works exactly the same. It's so much in the news that I am not sure I have to repeat and repeat and repeat. But yes, it is the game of the month. Other companies have been very, very creative about it. And you have, for example, the excuse that you could use Pokemon Go to take your dog out for a walk. That's very, very kind. Or that you can use it in a hospital to encourage kids to get out of the bed and to be more optimistic. Go! Now, I need a break. So I'm going to leave you here, please leave your comments below, I want to know what you think about all this news, where you want the future to take us, if you have any further questions that you want me to tackle, so please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next Thursday, Yo Steve!